<sighs> hey guys, this is Sitspawn, and I am back for more of my Roma Circle 2.5 Quantus campaign. And no, I am not in Battle with the Ptolemies, where the last video ended off. And that is because, unfortunately, when I went to encode the second half of that video, all the files for it had been deleted. So I don't know if I deleted all of my Thraps movie folder instead of just the video files that I'd already used for the first half, but unfortunately that means we have lost the second half of that episode. I could go back and replay it. I haven't checked to see, potentially, I haven't checked to see if I have a save that goes there, but um, I don't feel like recording the same thing and getting a different result, so we're going to go ahead and continue where I left off. I will walk you through more or less what happened. Everything that got recorded and is not going to be shown happened during that end turn phase when the Ptolemies attacked me and I saved and ended it when my turn started but I didn't do anything. Or at least if I did it was maybe one or two minor little tweaks but it was nothing sizable. So um, I'll kind of show you where we are. You'll be able to kind of see. I didn't take any more territories than the Ptolemies obviously but I beat their army in Asia Minor and... After that, the Seleucids actually attacked me down, oh, uh, well, I don't remember which city it was, but they were besieging one of my cities down there, and I think they attacked that. Or no, what it was is they they took that, I continued the turn, I believe, and fought them for it. So, yeah, you'll be able to see right here, I did indeed, oh, actually... Where's my... Okay, yeah, here's the sh here's the shattered remains of the army. So I did go ahead and move them back into Antioch. What happened is the Seleucids took the remains... Let me start the script. The remains of that nice little emergency doom stack they had. Took my two forts, as you saw, and besieged Laodicea. They took Laodicea and took it easily. And I took my garrison from Antioch and went ahead and fought them with it. And so I just assaulted the city. And I won, but my army got absolutely shredded as a it was mainly a little garrison army here. It's not a great not a great uh, composition for a real field army. And they were all super great troops with elephants and chariots and whatnot. So I won the battle, but my garrison's pretty thrashed. And I think that's basically where it left off. I still have this army over here, as you can see, took minimal casualties, oh wait, no, this is the one that fought in the battle, still took fairly minimal casualties from that battle, not in too bad a shape here, and let's see, yeah, this looks to have a little army over here, but once I retrain my garrison a bit, I'm not going to be too worried about that. So, moving on. We'll just have to live with it. I'm sad we lost that footage, but I'd rather just put episodes out. And that is the reason for the delay in this episode as well. I mean, I could make excuses for being busy, but it really wasn't much more than usual. I was just disappointed and frustrated with the lost footage. So, I think we will try to continue our work against the Ptolemies here, try to take Halicarnassus as quick as possible. <laughs> And, ah, uh, the Armenians are still knocking on our door here. They've retrained or got a new army down here. Looking a bit stronger than the last one they sent, unfortunately, for us. So we're definitely going to have to free up an army to help there fairly soon if we don't want to lose some substantial territory. I don't really think... We're making a little more money than we were due to capturing a few more cities, but not enough to make that big of a difference, so we really can't afford another army. Uh, but the most we're going to be able to afford if we want to be able to build anything is rebuilding that garrison and maybe beefing it up a little bit down in Antioch. So we could go ahead and lay siege to Halicarnassus, and most likely this unit here, if we're lucky, will come attack us and we'll get a field battle. And I don't need to worry about a garrison or anything because they already have a full garrison here. 
So that's not really a consideration I'm too worried about. I think my army is more than capable of taking them in the field. They're very, very full on cavalry. They have one, two, three light units there, two heavy units here, and I could go down another two heavy units here. So they actually have four heavy cav and three light cav, but um, our army is almost entirely spear based. So I'm not too worried about that. We'll be able to take them out just fine and go ahead and add Halicarnassus to our domain. So let's go ahead and besiege that here. Besieging settlement We're only going to build about three rams. I don't even think we need them since we have these catapults here, but just in case. They can't hurt too much either. Now we could send this army over here to help just in case they pop another army up here or have a, a Garris or a emergency army pop up, which I don't think they would have that for their Asian minor lands as they're not really their core possessions, but I don't know for sure with this mod. So we could really, really use him over here. <laughs> but I don't know if we can afford to, just in case those Ptolemies have something up their sleeve or Pergamon decides to... Uh, take action against us. We'll see. Let's go ahead and look at uh, building a little bit here since we have some money. Mm -hmm. Let's see. Do I have a... Yeah, I can't afford that next tax building, not with the money I have right now. Does anywhere need to upgrade? I'm going to check right quickly. Okay. No one needs to grow, so we have some money to work with. I am going to continue with the major being our number one priority here, being our capital. They're happy enough. Well, I'm not going to worry about happiness buildings, but I think I'll go ahead and build this Temple of Hephaestus. Because if you give this to the Pantheon level, you will get, um, I believe, gold armor. I could be wrong, it could be gold weapons, but either way, it's a good thing to aim for. Mazuka is about to go full size. So I'm going to go ahead and give them a shrine of Apollo just to help keep their public order up because it's going to get a little worse once they grow and get some more squalor going. I think it'll be fine because I don't think we have them low taxes or anything yet, but just in case. Now, yeah, we don't have most of our empire building right now because we're sinking so many funds into our, um, our army. So, i got to kind of prioritize here. Let's see how our happiness is looking. We have a couple places that are yellow, so let's go to Apamea here. And just give them some basic happiness buildings. They've built a lot of what we can build already, it looks like. At least the level 1 items. You can make them an autonomous region, though, and that'll help the happiness. We're not really making much money off it in the first place. So it doesn't like we're going to lose anything and we're going to gain a good 20 happiness, which will be very useful. Oh, we never deleted the um, barracks, so let's do that and gain a little bit of cash. Same with this Greek militia barracks. That's actually a good bit of cash right there. We could kill this tax building, but I don't think that's necessary yet. I don't think we're going to get much money off it, but you know, Unless it gets really bad. Well, I guess, never mind, this is over in our home region. So, we'll leave that on there. Okay. Now, we could spend a little bit more, or we could use it for our military down here. It's pretty battered. We still need to get these. I guess we have Antioch as a recruiting center. It's just busy retraining there. I'd like to get them a little bit more cavalry. What do they have cavalry wise down here? Two heavy cav, a thrash light cav, and these programoi. Can retrain down here just not yet. Okay, so get them one or two cavalry and it's maybe another heavy infantry in there too because we seriously lacked that during the battle down there. They're pretty expensive though, so we might have to just make do without. <laughs> Whew. 
Okay. We can give him some horse archers. Maybe just make two civilian medium archers. And that should be enough to bolster their offensive power a little bit. Okay. Let's go ahead and move this army this way just in case. We may have to figure out a way to deal with the Armenians, but for now, I'm not going to stress over it too much. Okay, uh, also not happy. Just did not want to build that. Give him a Shrine of Hera. And Tarsus, we don't really have much left to give you, but we'll give you a Shrine of Zeus. That's my money for the most part. Hold on to the tiny bit I have left. And... Don't think they're going to make any moves on this, except for maybe... Well, I'm going to move him just far enough away that they can attack the besieging army without getting both my armies involved. We don't need the reinforcements, and I don't want to scare them away, so... Let's see if we can have him ambush. Perfect. And let's go ahead and... and well, Going to do anything in my diplomat here. I don't know what my relations with the government is actually like. Just trade rights. Okay, let's go down the turn. Okay, lo and behold, we got our battle. Make a quick save, guys. And let's get to it. Alright, so deployment. <laughs> okay. Set it up and I'll be right back with you guys. Alright guys, pretty standard deployment and tactics. Except for the fact that they... Looks like are coming in from here. So let's swing my army around. And... Let's see. They've got... Just this one unit over here. I'm not going to waste my horse archers on them. What we will do... Just try to set my horse soldiers over here to harass them as they're coming in. And give my army some time to get in position. I just have them off fire at will. If I want to use them, I'll fire them manually. I don't feel like killing too many of my own troops personally. That's this silly little practice of mine. Okay, they've already got their light cavalry rushing in, so I'm going to go ahead and switch loose formation. To decrease javelin damage here. This light cavalry can be a real, uh, real pain for your horse archers. Generally speaking, especially with my experience, I'm far superior in melee, but they can still deliver pretty decent damage if I stay in close formation and let them just pick me apart. Got some slingers here, so I need to be careful about those. Let's see, my army is sitting up nicely here. Okay, crap. Let's get them out of balance and have them run so they get in place. I should have thought of that. Uh, the light cavalry is getting slaughtered. I like it. Let's see if we can't focus on this next unit over here. We've already got one down to about 26. That's good enough. 21, make it. I'd really love to get these slingers or their light cavalry over here weakened. Oh, stop skirmishing so far away, come on. Alright, let's get my guys back into Phalanx formation here, out of their in place. And we need to keep an eye out on these guys as they are closing in a bit. We don't really have any reserve infantry. Besides our skirmishers, let's go ahead and get these Lanchafori. Or Lanchafori, or however you want to spell it. Or pronounce it, I guess. It's spelled how it's spelled. Getting some hits on them. I do need to be wary here. Okay, skirmish and type formation. Okay, what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring these guys over here. They will suffice for the moment. And I'll just try to hammer and anvil them as quickly as possible. 
get them out of the way and lessen uh lessen damage to my skirmisher units. Let's see, have my archer start firing on these slingers here. Okay, they're getting chased, but they should be weakening the enemy here as they go. I'll come back to them in a moment if I have to. Now they're backing off. Okay, uh, they're probably going for my horse archers over here. Damn. Well, you know what? This is the perfect opportunity to go ahead and hammer an anvil, since they have most of their cavalry out of the way. Let's grab my light cavalry here, and just run them this way. And let's get my heavy cavalry all gathered up over this way. Okay, let's go ahead and throw our javelins on the flanks here. Actually swing around this way, guys. Now this is their shielded side. Oh, they kind of turned their flanks to me. Perfect. Hopefully we can get some kills in there really quickly. I'm just going to charge them in there so we can hopefully fix them in place a little bit. Okay, what's going on here? There's some javelins, I think. Go ahead and try to take these guys out really quickly. I'll come back to them momentarily. Oh, come on, guys. Get lined up here. Okay. Still scare machine, kind of. Come on, you idiots. Keep moving. I don't care. Just keep moving. Crap, 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 crap. Okay. This guy's right here. Okay. Melee. Melee. Hopefully we can catch him in the middle. What is killing my archers? Gotta be their slingers. Hopefully we can get these guys to break. Let's go back to my light cavalry here. Did they chase them off? Let's chase these guys off. Go ahead and swing around with these guys. I'm not microwing very well right now just because they're chasing my damn cavalry all over the place. It's distracted. Tell you what. Come on, break. Let's pull out of here. We definitely need to swarm these guys before they hit our skirmishers in the back. I think they're they're good enough infantry. They'll be able to hold off those uh, epileptoi. Macaphoria epileptoi is weakened as they are. I need to check on my horse archers here again in a second. I just want to swing around and hit these guys in the back first. Let's okay. Looks like we're in melee. So let's check on that. And okay, we got them. Head this way, guys. Bring it back towards our battle here. Okay, and speaking of our battle, what's going on? Get this way. Oh, damn, dude, they got freaking annihilated. Hit them in the back. We'll use our light cavalry to take on these slingers, wherever the hell they are. Perfect, the general's dead. Head back over this way to work on those Macaphoroi again. They're starting to uh, show their superiority against our skirmisher here, so we really need to kill them. Wow, this unit here lost cohesion bad. That is not good. We really need to get a hammer and anvil right there. That'll break them, I think. Actually, I'm just going to skip over here and take care of that, because that's yeah, not good on that plane. Okay, got these light skirmishers are running away. Let's chase them down. Got my Thrakatai flanking this unit right here. Help to even things out a little bit. Check on my skirmisher and my horse archers. Still coming this way, still getting shots on them. It's good. Let's lead them right over here, and let's get a charge on these guys. 
And they did not drop their spears. What the heck? Come on. They still routed them somehow, but uh didn't get a very good charge off from the looks of it. Okay, these guys are still fighting, so let's take them out. Just about ammo. Out of ammo completely on my horse archers, that's fine. They done their job, completely distracted their cavalry. So, that's good. This one turned out much better. They dropped their spears, broke that unit. Now let's send my cavalry over this way. We bought our infantry a little bit of time here. Let's swing them around. Now you guys target them. Force archers, you're going to head this way and flank. Oh, good. We are starting to get a good route going here. Taking pretty heavy casualties though, unfortunately. Where's the rest of their cavalry? Did I miss them? I know they had more than that. Alright, well you guys head back this way for now. Let's make sure these guys don't return from routing. If you can. Perfect. Chain route. The enemy show the truth. Gonna light cavalry on this as quickly as possible. Only frightened rabbits running from our men. Looks like even they broke. Okay, let's um get our Therakatai over this way as well as our balance needs to take care of that cavalry. I don't think we'll need our cavalry. We'll, we want to use them to chase down these guys before they can escape. Okay, good. That's a victory. This is just going to be a lot of cleanup, so I will see you guys at the battle results screen. Alright, this is the last unit, so I figured we'll watch them get cut down and then go straight to the results screen here. Awesome. He even got one of their generals there. I like it. Alright, pretty good victory. I took quite a few casualties. It was mainly my infantry, as you can see. Infantry and skirmisher units. My cavalry is almost completely unscathed. So, we'll have to retrain, but you know, we got the city. We should be able to hold it with the garrison while we retrain. Maybe even leave one of the the army that's still in good condition over here and send the one that needs retraining back so it can help against the Armenians and the Seleucids. But that was pretty successful. I like it. Victory indeed. What the? No way. Okay. That's... So we got the city and the, the garrison just got ejected then. Is it dead? We got ejected. Okay. Definitely depopulate then. So glitchy. You shouldn't get a garrison if they lose their whole field army. That's silly. We are under well, we will make do. But the good news is, since we sacked Halicarnassus, we now have a shit ton of money. And our national leader died. Okay. He was our governor in Amasia, and we need a good one there now, so we can start making some money again. He's even worse. So, we need to find someone who's half decent. What does this guy have? We are actual now. He's our governor at the moment. We're in a minor recession, but that should, that should start turning around soon. Um, not really seeing anything related to uh, money here besides that recession trait, which everyone should have. Uh, positive or negative. So, he's not as bad as he could be, but he's only 19 years old. He's not really gotten any skill to be governing the major city. Let's see what happens with this guy over there. Let's get our other guy out of the way. Kick him out. That puts up to, back to 24. So that's much better. Let's see what it's saying here for our income. Yeah, so that's still about 17k. Oh, I need to get an academy set up somewhere else if I don't have one. I don't remember. I'm going to look around really quickly. Because it doesn't matter as much who our governor is. 
other places, but our capital has to have a good gover governor, otherwise it cripples our whole economy. So, so Nope does not appear to have one. Let's see, Mazikum does not. Let's go ahead and build one there. Uh, Trapezus does not as well. We're going to start building one there next turn. We have to have at least a few places where we can build up our generals without having to worry about who's in charge. Okay. So that took up a little bit of our money, but it's needed. Better generals mean better cities and more money. So, always good. Heracles is our new leader. Oh, he's actually the leader of that army we were just using. Let's take a look at him. He takes after his father. He's repellent. Oh, that's lovely. Welcoming the foreigners. Greek aristocrat. Fabian. And... Night fighter. Considerate. Obviously, he's one of our family members. Oh, he, he's showing a balanced economy. So it could be swinging from balance to minor recession, or hopefully from minor recession to balance. But uh, sometimes it's a little glitchy. It'll get both. Um, anyways, he's an optimist, shy, hasty, intelligent, loyal, respects his father, which is good since he takes after him. Hard worker, slick, political animal, understands logistics. Basically, he's looking pretty badass. We might try to get him over to Amasia once he gets a little older because he should probably be pretty darn good for um, governing. Yeah, I like it. But we'll definitely use him on the field a little bit longer. We just don't want to use him to uh, sack cities. If you get your national leader to sack too many cities and this mod, the people will not be so fond of him as, you know, murders the common people, and it will give you bad traits that will affect your entire economy. So, you got to keep that in mind if we are going to use him as a field general. Rome's at war with the Greeks, so I don't really care about the rest. Okay, this should be super easy pickings. They have no cavalry support whatsoever. So we will just send our other army over here to take care of that momentarily. Let's go ahead and get some building done first, though. First and foremost, we're going to get rid of the Ptolemaic Elite Army Base here. Give us another little boost in cash. Do they have a tax building here? They do. I think we're going to go ahead and kill that. Took away a little bit of money, but gave us a lot more public order to work with. Let's go ahead and give them some tribal justice for this turn and then government determination for the next. Actually, they're actually pretty good on public order. We're going to give them roads, and then we'll give them tribal justice, and then we'll come back to them later. Tar is also going to get roads. Help us move our troops around a little better and increase trade. Both much needed right now. Okay, Heraclea, you're pretty damn happy. We, You're also growing pretty well. We need to start developing you a little bit. Maybe into, um, it would be nice to have a troop center right next to, uh, Pergamon. We don't really have, okay, we have some decent recruitment op options at Sanope as well. So let's go ahead and help you financially. Just go ahead and build this regional focus here, that's important. And side, I really want to build roads, and they don't even have a port or a market, but we need to help their, uh, public order first. So give them some tribal justice. So no. Ooh. I'd love to get this third level of barracks here, but I'm not too worried about that yet. We could build a second tax building, or we could build a shipwright. Both would be useful. That would give us a little bit more in trade. Not much, honestly. Not yet. Well, this would do nothing, apparently. I guess it's not valuable enough for that to be useful yet. Oh, so let's not do either of those at the moment. Not a high enough payoff yet. <laughs> so, nope, so, nope, so, nope. What do you want today? Just give you a shrine of 
Double wolf meter, yeah. That'll do it. Tarsus. Um, do we have anyone that's yellow right now that's not being taken care of? Yeah, but okay, we'll get to that though. We'll have money left over for that. I hope. Let's go to them first. Why are you no happy, load of kale? I'm trying to Dionysus. Looks like you still have some unrest, and this is the capitals of 35. That's 50 between those, there's another 25 there. Okay. Maybe we just need a bigger garrison there to help. I don't know. I don't want to waste too many troops on that if we don't have to. Before we spend all our money, let's continue to retrain here at Antioch. And some of those two horse archer units we recruited down here as well. Okay. We will need to do something about those Armenians here shortly. <sighs> I think we'll need more cavalry for them. Our infantry should be able to um, take care of them. But let's go ahead and build two more units of make on Sista just for garrison when we leave. Make sure Antioch stays happy. Sir. You guys Sir. go into here for now, but you'll probably join Antioch's garrison when the army leaves. Now, look at Tarsus for the moment. Yep, two Tarsus. You will get... Oh, you're not happy either, but your growth rate is slowing down here, so we'll use that. We'll take advantage of that to um, develop them quite a bit before we send them higher population-wise. Antioch. I'm not going to build that for the reasons we've already stated. I want to cut away half my uh, recruiting options or more. It's just silly. Go ahead and do trade expeditions. I really want them to start being more productive. They should be a much more valuable city than they're showing themselves at the moment. And Tala. Go ahead and give you military tra or militia training. Just have that basic capacity. I have a new family member, and no, now he's the one we kicked out. So we had Mazika building one hill, it'll have that ready in two turns, so let's send him down there. Cool. And you, you know what, you can just go ahead and head this way, and you'll be our governor for one of our new acquisitions over here. We will send you to side, I think. Do we have any other generals over here? Yeah. Um, you actually will. Ooh, you would be really useful down in Halicarnassus. Oh, shoot. Okay. We would lose this. Let's auto resolve. Hopefully he'll win and just retreat back to a city. Or not. Oh, he won. Wow. I'm, I meant lose and retreat back to a city, but he actually straight up won that. Send him to Tara for now since there's that army out and about and we won't have enough movement points to make it this turn. It'll be an easy striking distance to move into his new province next turn. Alright, we do have the beginnings of a fleet so we could, if we have an army open, move down and take Cyprus as well, which would be a good rich province for us. I don't know that we have a lot left to do this turn besides fight that army, but uh, let's get right to it. Make a quick save, per usual, and kill these noobs. We might even get a nice little coastal battle. This should be a slaughter. Let's get to it. Alright, ready to go. Once again, pretty standard formation for this army, about what you're used to. So let's get this on. Let's move up to about here. Okay, we'll just triple speed it. And I'm not even going to worry about moving my artillery. They're not going to be much use here in the woods. Are they going to challenge my advance? So I'll pull back a little bit. Let's just go ahead and set up right here for the moment. We can reorganize from here. I just don't want to get caught up formation. 
really need to reorganize this army. It's, it's driving me kind of crazy, to be honest. Everything's all on the wacky order here. Mean they're backing off for me now, for the moment. Which is just fine with me. Stupid Iraq timeline is, of course, way too far back. Move it up a little bit. Oh, that's a little off. Like that. And let's go ahead and move up to here. And if we're lucky, they'll just full on engage my infantry line. I'll swing around the back, take out their skirmishers, hit my anvil, open and shut. Okay, they're shooting the shit out of my archers, so let's return fire. Go ahead and advance the rest of my troops to here. Let me go ahead and swing my heavy cavalry this way. My Scythians are ready to go over here. Let's go ahead and just charge in here a little bit. Actually, you know what? I want to throw my javelins, so let's get to here and just toss them. Okay, everyone stop. Just toss them in. Alright, now we can go ahead and engage. All our javelins are thrown. This should be easy as pie. Oh, come on, guys. Get around the flank here. Let's go ahead and line up right there. Let my Cappadocians take out these guys. Okay, good. Both of their archers are routing. I'm not even going to bother running them down. A waste of time, honestly. Take them off the fire at will. Charging here. Let's get a quick close-up for it for you guys. Thuraforoi. Once again, didn't get a good charge for some reason. But they broke, so I'll take it. Back off. You guys charge in. And let's F these guys up some more. Thuraforoi. And broken. Okay, you guys just get out of the way now. charge in here. Oh wait, crap, I did not see them. Pull back, pull back. A tree was placed perfectly, look at that. I mean, I can tell they're there now, but I have no idea whatsoever. Alright, that's alright. We're gonna get a chain out here pretty easily. Just range these guys out. Charging the flank here. Let's chase down the rest of their troops for the moment. Let's see, they're still fighting right here. So let's go ahead and get a charge on them. If we can. You know what? Take them off the guard mode and just attack the flanks. Hopefully we'll get a route. And hit them right there. I don't want to take any more casualties with you, so I'm actually going to pull them back right here.
I want to actually back off right here to get all these people to run away and stop fighting to death. I don't need to get any more casualties than I have to. Let's see. What are my Cappadocians doing? Still chasing some people down here. Fine. Get these guys. Okay. Now, these guys all should be running away. These guys aren't retreating yet, so whatever. We'll take care of this. I don't feel like putting the rest of my troops in melee at this point if I don't have to. We've already basically won this battle here. Fire arrows right there. Chase these guys down. Hopefully this should get a route going. If not, I will get another little charge on their flank. These guys are... Did they come back from routing without ever moving? Or... Uh, they're finally running away. I think some of them actually did recover without having to run. That's weird. Let's go ahead and hit them there. We will get you guys back over here. Okay, that's one unit down. Let's get the next one routing. Sorry, I know this isn't super exciting, guys. I'm just trying to keep this army in good shape since the other one's torn up pretty well. Okay, good. I think... Oh, he's still fighting to the death. Maybe? Yep, there we go. Perfect. Turn our archers back off. Why is the battle not over yet? Right there's the problem, okay? Cappadocians. Let's go let those guys up. pretty light on cavalry in this army, honestly, compared to my others. Used to have them, like, six, seven units. Alright, guys, I will see you at the results screen. That was a pretty easy battle, but... Like I said from the beginning, it was basically just set up to be a slaughter for the colonists there. Alrighty, that battle is over. And, wow, about a hundred losses. A little over, not too bad. And... Oh my gosh. Um, hopefully you guys have been able to hear me this whole time. I just realized I'm an idiot. I'll have to check this afterwards. <sighs> I've had my headset on my microphone has been straight up, so nowhere near my mouth. That's fantastic. Okay. <laughs> I am derping like crazy right now, apparently. Alrighty. Do you have any mercenaries I can get here for a garrison? I do. I'll have to train some of them next turn. What's my cash looking like? Yeah, still about 17k. Alright guys, well... I think we're going to go ahead and call that an episode. We got two battles in. Walk you back through where we left off. And, uh, yeah, I will see you next time. Hopefully it should be much quicker between 17 and 18 than it was between 15 and 16. So, uh, yeah, see you guys later. Thanks for watching.